There you go. There you go. Okay. So I'm rotating. Nope. It's just moved right here. Um, it's right in front of me. Yeah. It takes a little getting used to <laughs> sometimes. So do you see? There's a button that says phone. I see a play Something video. Like I see phone. Yes. Click phone. Yo, I'm telling you, yeah. if I look a little crazy, people, like y'all will understand why. This is crazy. Growing up. I remember being young and being inspired by technologies, and it was very difficult to find a level of relatability. I was often in a lot of meetings that I was the only black person in. I was in meetings where I was the youngest person in the room. I wanted to make it much more easier for the next person. They would be able to say, why can't I do it? He did it, right? And that's why it was important for me to really focus on this lens of technology and showing kids what could be rather than what is. I think sports and technology are always overlapping. Hyperbaric chambers, my wearables, the technology that we use in our arenas. I do a lot of investment into tech companies. It's not about making money, it's about showing that there's a kid from your neighborhood that can get in any room they want to get in. Those type of things are things that interest me and that I invest into. Peace, peace, bro. Hey, bro, peace, life. What's up, man? How you been? Life's good. How you? Hey, you, bro. Yeah, I'm just living. Super solid. How you been? I've been good. I've been good, man. Chill. I've been seeing you doing your thing, man. Yeah, you, you too, know? man. You on another level. Yeah, trying, to level. Level. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get to your level. Trying to get to each other level right now. I got a lot of dope new tech I got to show you, bro. Word? Upstairs. So, do it. bro, you got to see this. No, you got something special up your sleeve right now. Ooh, please. What is this? You familiar with augmented reality? Yeah, I'm starting to familiarize myself with it a little bit, but you know what I mean? That's why yeah. I'm here to learn a little yeah. bit more. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So AR pretty much takes your real world that's around you, yep. and you could um, overlay virtual objects on top of it. So I just want you to test it out real quick. So, Put your hand over the device, and you'll see it translated in 3D space. So if you just lift it up. Oh. See that? <laughs> that's your hand right there in real time. So just off the top of your head, what? what like, see this being used for it. I mean, everything, right? For just think about technology. If you're a doctor and for testing purposes and mm -hmm. trying to learn in classes, and mm -hmm. and even for me, it's kind of one of the things where you know, for sports and technology, exactly. understanding like, okay, how your hands are moving, what you can do, how you can grab them, quickness. Yeah, and, right now we're actually uh, working on some stuff with the NBA to record like games and volumetrics. Yeah. So you have a whole spectator view. Just imagine, like, you take your glasses, you put them on and you can actually analyze the whole court in whatever vantage point you want. It's dope. Yeah, wait till you see this. And it's on like a game right. with this, your fingers and your hands are your controller. Right. And you just interact with it, with it in a very organic and natural way. You hear that? What? And you can't see this. There's a large screen right here that I can interpolate, bring out and move anywhere in 3D space. Uh, are we in the movie right now? <laughs> Minority <laughs> Report, right? Man, what is so I want you to try it out. So if you put these on. I'm back, I'm back, y'all. You're back. I'm in the whole new world right now. Well, the cool thing about volumetric video is that you can interact with them however you want. Wow. Yeah. Oh my God. Get underneath it, everybody look at my elbows pointing straight up, <laughs> get out, get up. So a huge part of my mission is the democratization of technology. Right. I want kids at the hood in Compton, yeah. Boyle Heights, in Africa, yeah. to be able to know that they can have one device that could pretty much solve all their external issues that they might have. Yeah, this is crazy, and then the, the fact that you're being able to give back to the, the neighborhoods that we kind of grew up in. It's like you say, for kids, it gives them a different way of learning, a different way of seeing the world, and different ideas of being creative on whatever they want yeah. to do. I got some more stuff to show you, so we should go downstairs and check out some stuff on the XPS. Let's do it. All right, sure. What is your title as who you are and yeah. what do you do? Yeah, I mean, I think within a title, like, I, I define myself as an architectural technologist. I like to think of digital worlds and how I could integrate them in the, in the real world and right. bring the culture in it, you know, in a real, like, cohesive way. So virtual reality is interesting because, like, 
what we experience upstairs, yep. that's called mixed reality. Okay. So there's a spectrum. Virtual reality allows you to experience a whole new world, right. but it disconnects you from your real world. Right. Augmented reality overlays on top of your real world, but it's harder to be more immersive in that yeah. because you can actually see your real world. Right. right? And then we have something called mixed reality, which is pretty much in the, in the medium of those, where you could pretty much have these experiences that can be you know, full occlusion overlaid into your real world, but you still have access to your physical world. Yeah. That's what you try. So where we see this going is we have apps that trigger when you get in your car. Right. We have apps that trigger when you get in your office. Apps that respond to physical space. Earlier on, these devices were really expensive, yeah, right? Yeah. So we started prototyping a whole bunch of different ways that we could democratize virtual reality. Right. And one of those was just a 3D print or even make them out of cardboard. Right. So we got like a whole bunch of like cardboards, abandoned cardboards, you know, just at the recycling center. Yeah. And we just cut them out to the shape of this, added the lenses to them, and we could pretty much give it to everybody. We could actually make these technologies, yeah. you know what I mean? And like, that we could use them for the greater good of humanity. Especially coming from one of the neighborhoods we come from, you know, our kids are you know, exposed to everything. How much more advanced our neighborhoods can be in the, in the culture. And, and then we can start being able to be a part of heads of companies, right? Exactly. And, and ownership and, and... Vertical integration. Exactly. You yeah. know? And what you say is so important because, like, I was inspired by so many different people like Dita Rams and Mark Newsom, designers, engineers mm -hmm. growing up. But I realized like a lot of them didn't look like me. What about those kids that could have references of what could actually be when they had people that look like them? I'll go back to, you know, when I won the championship, the first thought I had was like, I'm taking the trophy back to my neighborhood, right? I took the trophy back to my neighborhood and I was like, yo, every kid that came in, I was like, yo, touch it, like feel mm -hmm. it, like, you know, and put your yeah. fingerprints on this. It's our win. Like yeah. you can do it. Yeah. Well, as we talk about information, the biggest divider, especially for, you know, inner city youth is information. Yeah. You know, if they have the information on how to create systems rather than just consuming them, right. it puts them at a, at a much higher chance of success, right. especially in today's world. Yeah. By having a conversation like this and people that look like us, right, partner with brands and companies that really understand what that means, yeah. helps us elevate that mission. Now you can find ways to, you know, do these things and everyone has a chance to grow, right? Absolutely. Creativity is everywhere, it's all around.